All right, welcome back to Everyday Race. Today, I'm going to be talking about ignition coils. I'm going to be comparing a stock ignition coil from my Kawasaki ZX-10R to a high-performance Dynatec ignition coil. As you can tell, it's, uh, it's got an OEM fit. It's got identical plug and it looks exactly like my factory ignition coil but it's quite a bit more expensive than factory ignition coil so let's see what the differences are is it worth upgrading to high performance coils is it worth paying so much more money for them so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure primary and secondary resistance circuits to see what the differences are. While they look the same, I sure hope that the electrically inside they're different. So for that I'm going to need my good old multimeter. So I'm going to put it like this, that way you can see, and first I'm going to measure primary resistance on the factory coil. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to resistance. There we go. Then I'm going to take the probes and, and I'm going to measure resistance between this pin and this pin. So let me go ahead and get it done. All right, so we've got 1.5 ohm. Well, yep. 1.5 ohm primary resistance on the stock ignition coil. So next I'm going to take the high performance Dynatec ignition coil and I'm going to do the same thing. There we go. Okay, we're looking at 1.1. Okay, we're looking at Sometimes you just got to smack them. Okay, so we're looking at 1.1 ohm primary resistance on the Dynatec ignition coil. So, a uh, small difference. So this ignition coil has got lower, resi uh, lower primary resistance than my stock coil. So it's, uh, it's, it's actually a good thing. It means that I'll be able to flow more current and in theory it should be able to charge up fat quicker than stock ignition coil. So, which is good for an engine that spins to 14,000 RPM and doesn't have much time to charge the ignition coil. So next I'm going to measure secondary resistance. I'm going to measure resistance between one of them pins and right here. So let's go ahead and uh, test the stock ignition coil. All 
All right, so we're looking at 9.43 kilo ohm. Now let's take the Dynatec ignition coil and do the same thing. We're looking at 4.68 kilo ohm. So the resistance on the secondary circuit is lower. So uh, when I bought these, I looked up the specs that were uh, identical on the secondary, but for some reason, my coils read a little bit higher resistance on the primary than what it said uh, by manufacturer. They were supposed to be 0.85 ohm primary resistance, but you know, you can't really believe everything you read, so sometimes you just got to measure it yourself. So, since we know the difference, uh, resistance-wise, between the coils, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug them all in my bike, insert, NGK, identical ignition coils in them, and then we're we're going to see if a high performance ignition coil uh, give the spark plug better spark. So let me go ahead and set it up. All right, so what I did next is I uh, took my spare uh, ignition harness and I plugged stock coil right here and I uh, plugged in my uh, Dynatec ignition coil right here. I grounded both of the ignition, uh, both of the spark plugs to the frame and now I'm going to use my standalone ECU. I'm going to go into test mode and I'll be able to test my ignition coils. So here's the, I set the dwell time to one millisecond. What I found, let me, let me turn that off. What I found out in the past is that my stock ignition coil uh, really liked two and a half millisecond uh, dwell time. So uh, I set it real low at one millisecond. So let me go ahead and start it. And uh, you can see both of them are sparking. Let me go ahead and turn turn down the uh, the light. All right, I turn turn down the uh, the lights, and you can kind of see. They look pretty, pretty similar. So let me go ahead and I'm going to turn up the, uh, the rate that they spark. There you go. This is way better. Let me see if I can get it even quicker.
there we go. You can sort of see that the high performance ignition coil on the right is somewhat has a slightly better spark. So let me go ahead and turn the, uh, the dwell time up to two and a half seconds. There we go. This is a uh, really cool. Now you can see that definitely the coil, the Dynatec coil on the right, definitely give uh, is given a lot, a lot better spark. You can tell this one got a different color. So let me see if I can increase that to three milliseconds. See, not a, not a whole lot of change, but you could clearly see that the ignition, that the spark plug on the right has a brighter spark. So, let me do a couple more changes. Yeah, the one on the right is definitely brighter. So that's pretty cool. Let me turn that off. And now I'm going to try to put a different spark plug in there. I'm going to uh, use a regular NGK spark plug. All right, let me go ahead and get it started. Oh, this is pretty cool. As you can see, the regular spark plug is still brighter than the uh, iridium spark plug that's plugged into a stock ignition coil. So, let me drop, drop it down to one millisecond again. Pretty cool. Alright. Alright, so now you've seen the difference between Dynatec and stock ignition coil. Uh, visually, there was actually a difference that you could tell. Maybe 20% brighter spark on the uh, Dynatec ignition coil than uh, on the factory ignition coil. So what, what does that mean? Does that mean that you should buy them? You're going to gain some kind of uh, 20 horsepower on a naturally aspirated uh, engine? Uh, probably not. These coils are probably uh, going to be really good for force induction engines, such as you know turbocharged, supercharged, or engine equipped with the nitrous oxide. And the reason for that is because when you uh, add a lot more fuel and air in the engine, it's really uh, it's really hard for the spark plug to actually ignite. So if this ignition coil is 20% uh, better than this ignition coil, so what's going to happen is that you're going to start raising boost uh, to let's say 20 psi and you're going to have a spark blowout. Basically, the spark plug or ignition coil attached to the spark plug won't be able to ignite the air fuel mixture. So that's when you're going to see power differences on the uh, high performance ignition coils like this one. Let's say this one at 20 PSI will be doing just fine. And if we go any, any higher, obviously, the spark plug is not going to uh, ignite the air fuel mixture and the engine is going to produce no power whatsoever and this one will continue to spark and ignite the igni uh, air fuel mixture and uh, that's really what it's all about. I'll try to do another test when the bike is actually going to be running. I'll actually swap the ignition coils back to back uh, at the racetrack and uh, I'll see if I can pick up any ET or uh, if it's going to be worth 
uh, anything. So that should cover today's uh, video. So thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you later.